you know, there's like a reoccurring theme that's been going on in all the panels. It's talking about um, uh, what Malcolm Gladwell calls the 10,000 hour rule. That it takes about 10,000 hours to master a craft. So imagine what you say you're trying to do when you want to do it by yourself. When you want to be the writer, you got to spend 10,000 hours doing that, 10,000 hours producing, 10,000 hours on vocals production, 10,000 hours on engineering, 10,000 hours on editing. You can't do it by yourself. You don't even have enough time in the, in the world to do it. And there's some people who, who've done it and are doing it, but for most of us, we need help. Most of the songs, my favorite songs in the world, I didn't write by myself. You know, I like the stuff I write by myself, but the stuff that people love most is stuff that I write in co-writing situations. So that's the most blessed thing you can have is a co-writer. Books you didn't read and movies you didn't read and watching, you know, you get it. You understand what I'm saying? We need those other minds and those other influences. So don't push that away. And most sessions are co-writes. Period. Yeah, most sessions are to you know, at least three writers. Even if you send it yourself, <laughs> they're going to be like, VB, we love this, bro, but Dream is about to write the rest of this. <laughs> That hook and verse is crazy, bro, but that second verse, we taking that off, <laughs> you know? And you sent the song in, you started by yourself, you get it back, and you got 10% of that bug. <laughs> For real. You 10% know what I'm is better than nothing. <laughs> but look, but look, but look. 10% is better than nothing, though. No, 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 but 10% is much better than 100% of that song sitting in your computer for 10 years. You know what I'm saying? That happens. Planet at ASCAP 202017 at the R&B Hip Hop. Talking about, you know, stealing your computer. So sometimes you got to take a little less to make the bigger play. But you're here to do business, right? Ain't enough amens, y'all. This is Shabbat. <laughs> Amen, hey, brother. You know what I'm saying? You're here to do business. So you can't take all the money yourself. You can't do it all yourself. You didn't do it all yourself. You know? So you so don't even let that, that, that go immediately. Find other people. It's some dope people. I'm looking at the faces of people I know for sure that are dope. I'm like, dang, they lit. They don't even know. And find people that are better than you. And please, that's going to make you better. Yeah. I told this the other day. I came to ASCAP. My first time at ASCAP was 2009. That was my first time in L.A. I'm from the east side of Detroit, so my mind is I'm about to connect with everybody. Literally, y'all would have been irritated by me if this was 2009. <laughs> I'm running up on everybody. What up, though? I'm from the east side. <laughs> What's your name? You know, so I'm on the airplane. I see this guy. You know, some people that came to the conference, you, you registered early. Other people was in the line. You know, somebody in the line right now, the conference over, and they're trying to get in. You know what I'm saying? So that, I was that guy, the super late guy. You know what I'm saying? But I see this guy on the airplane. He got his tag, and the tag says, you know, ask Captain. I said, I'm going to that conference, the OG. You know, he's like, well, I'm going to a rehearsal. Before I go, you can come with me. I'm like, oh, my, shit, I'm going with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We get to the rehearsal. His name is Reggie Boyd, who happens to be a legendary guitar player. Walk in the room, his MD is a guy named Fishbone, who's a legendary drummer MD. So I'm lit. I'm, oh, baby, I'm in the Matrix. Let me sit back. <laughs> this guy walks in a room named Timothy Bloom, and the kid starts playing his song. And the song is so incredible, I had about 80 demos in my, in my bag. On the way out, I dropped all, the, this is before I even come to the conference, I dropped all the demos in the dumpster. Listen to me. <laughs> this kid's music was so incredible. I am not playing this shit I got for nobody. <laughs> so this trip is a build relationship trip. I, <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? If you don't ain't got the sound, it's all good. Music is forever growing and forever going. I mean, some of the legends that we came up on are dead and gone now. So all you need to do is keep growing. This ain't the time. You know, I thought I was ready. Cuz just killed me. You know what I'm saying? I'm writing my little hooks. He writing from the soul. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole different song. So let me stop with my games and go back in my soul and find some deeper songs. Yeah.